Now in this video, I am going to discuss about the chemical reactions of acids. And first we will discuss chemical reactions of acid with metals. Acid react with the metal from salt and hydrogen gas. Take one example. Sulfuric acid H2SO4 when react with the zinc, it forms zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is a vote. Now just see this figure which represent the reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid. And again, we are testing the hydrogen gas by burning. Now let us try to explain. This is one test tube and in this test tube, first we put the zinc granules. Granules means small pieces. Actually, these granules increases the surface area of a zinc metal. That's why rate of reaction becomes faster. And then in this we add the dilute sulfuric acid. As soon as we add the sulfuric acid, some bubbles start to form. These bubbles are of hydrogen gas. Then how can we prove that these bubbles are of hydrogen gas? These bubbles are passed through the delivery tube into a one tub containing a one soap solution. When this gas is passed to the soap solution, bubbles, soap bubbles are formed and these soap bubbles contain the hydrogen gas. Then if we bring a burning candle or burning meth stick near to the bubbles of these soap bubbles which contain the hydrogen, then a pop sound will come. This is the characteristic of hydrogen gas that hydrogen gas burn with a pop sound. In this way, we can prove that evolved gas is hydrogen. So I think it is clear to you. Acids react with the metals and form salt and hydrogen gas. Next one. Reactions of acid with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates. When these metal carbonate and metal hydrogen carbonate react with the acid, salt, carbon dioxide and water is formed. Take one example. Na2CO3 sodium carbonate when react with the HCl it forms salt NaCl carbon dioxide gas is evolved and water is formed. The same time NaHCO3 sodium hydrogen carbonate this is also known as sodium bicarbonate when react with HC, HCl that is hydrochloric acid it forms salt NaCl carbon dioxide gas is evolved and water is formed. Let us try to explain with the help of this diagram. In this in test tube, first we will take sodium carbonate in the solid form. These are the sodium carbonate. With the help of this thistle funnel, actually this is the funnel with the, this long tube. This is a long tube and this with the help of this tube, we will add the dilute hydrochloric acid. As soon as this dilute hydrochloric acid come in the contact of sodium carbonate, reaction takes place with brisk effervescence. Brisk effervescence. Brisk means fast. Effervescence means in Hindi we can say jhag. Brisk effervescence will come out. And when these brisk efferences, actually these brisk efferences of carbon dioxide gas, then how can we prove that this evolved gas is carbon dioxide? So when these efferences or this gas carbon dioxide is passed to the lime water, lime water, chemically lime water is calcium hydroxide solution and it is, it is colorless. But when we pass the carbon dioxide, lime water turns milky. It means some milky is appeared, some white is appeared. And actually this milky is due to the formation of insoluble calcium carbonate, which will appear in the form of white precipitate. We can say when carbon dioxide gas is passed to the lime water, 
lime water turns milky due to the formation of insoluble calcium carbonate but if we pass the excess carbon dioxide then again the this mixture becomes clear it is milkiness will disappear why because when we pass the excess of carbon dioxide then this calcium carbonate solution along with the water yeah, that is solid calcium carbonate with water and carbon dioxide it forms calcium hydrogen carbonate which is soluble in water that's why we are writing aq soluble in water aq so we can see calcium hydrogen carbonate forms which is soluble in water that's why this milky ness is disappeared once again see when acid react with the metal carbonate and metal hydrogen carbonate carbon dioxide gas is evolved how can we identify that gas is carbon dioxide when carbon dioxide gas is passed through the lime water calcium hydroxide lime water turns milky due to the formation of insoluble calcium carbonate but when we pass the excess of carbon dioxide this milkiness will disappear due to the formation of soluble calcium hydrogen carbonate and actually this limestone chalk and marble these are the different forms of calcium carbonate i think you have understood reaction of acid with metal and a reaction of acid with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates remaining reactions i will discuss in the next video thank you